hi happy easter welcome to my channel welcome back if you're new here today i have something absolutely delicious i have some hot dogs some some asian hot dogs i don't know what you call those things corn dogs oh that's not corn dogs i only have one and it's so delicious oh fuck it came off let's turn off the car we're gonna do that just a little mini mukbang y'all look at how big this thing is oh <laughs> i'm playing i'm acting like Nicki minaj Okay, so let me tell you about my day. So what I did, oh, and I also have some mochi, 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 don don, mochi don don. Okay, this is just a mini mukbang, but let's eat this delicious thing first. Okay. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Chantal. I do lifestyle vlogs and mukbangs. Today I'm coming here with some mukbang. Today I'm coming here with some mukbang. Delicious mukbang. Ah, what did I do today for Easter Sunday? I didn't celebrate Easter Sunday. I went to church, congregation, something with Jehovah Witnesses or whatever with my friend. And then I got into a little argument with my friend because she's like, oh, you weren't participating. What is there to participate? Like... I, I was listening to the conversation so we got into a little argument a little bickering I just came here to support and you know I was tired as hell so I did sleep a little bit for just like a few minutes um and then she was also talking about how I had headphones you see my headphones wrapped around my my um my neck she was like oh you have headphones and stuff like that it's like I'm not taking my headphones off I'm not this is why I avoided churches for the longest. My relationship with God is strong. God literally fucking talks to me all the time. But this is why I avoid churches. Because, you know, you're not going to tell me, oh, I got to do this, I got to do that. My tits are not showing. My ass is not showing. I am dressed conservatively. I even put my hair, this right here, I put my hair in a bun. I put my hair in a bun and I wrapped it up. I put my hair in a bun and I wrapped it up so you couldn't even see that there was color. The only part that you could see is the gray. Okay? <clears throat> so, there's nothing for you to be talking about. But that's the thing with Christians. They're very, you know, not all Christians. <sighs> that's a lie. It's not all Christians. But a lot of them, a lot of people who go to church, like, they're very judgmental. They're very judgmental. My mom... My parents, they used to be very judgmental towards me. And that's the reason why I avoid churches. Because I'm not going to church and having people judging me for me being me. You know what I'm saying? And I, I the, the whole entire point was for me to just be here. It wasn't for anything else. But I'm glad, you know, now she learns. Don't try to invite me to your stuff any, anyways. Just don't. Just don't. And she invited my friend in front of me. She invited my friend in front of me to another um, meeting, which is fine. Like, at first I was a little pissed off, but I'm like, I would not even want to go. So, who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? Uh, but yeah, besides that, I thought the sermon was great. I did enjoy what the, I don't know what you call them people. Maybe he's a pastor. I did enjoy what he was saying. Patience is key, he said. You need to live a life filled with patience and love for other people and blah, 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 blah. He was speaking the truth. Okay, let me not say blah, 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 because you guys might want to know. You need to live a life filled with patience and not be super impulsive and quick to react. Even with my friend, like, you're telling me that I'm not uh participating with the sermon but the guy literally said you need to be patient with your your friends and family they might not be perfect but like don't be so quick to be like upset and stuff like that and she was doing that so you weren't paying attention clearly too um <laughs> but yeah like it was good it, it was good i i was i definitely did take some notes down 
Um, they also said you shouldn't be part of uh, pyramid schemes. Uh, you shouldn't join pyramid schemes. If it's too good to be true, then it's probably too good to be true. And I'm like, okay. I wasn't thinking about joining a pyramid scheme, but now I'm definitely not going to do it. What else did they talk about? Let me eat my food. Bye. Mmm. Mmm. Phenomenal. Mm -mm. Mm. But I did learn a lot, you know, when people criticize me, I shouldn't be so quick to get mad. Even with my friend, like, I shouldn't get mad with people, too. So, also, not to be so stressed. Every single time you're stressed about the small things, you just, like, raise your high blood pressure and all that. It's not good. It's good to live a life of peace, a life of relaxation. You know, don't stress about the small things. He was speaking the fucking truth. I might, maybe just might start going to protestant churches. You know? Because he was speaking the truth. There's a lot of things that I learned from that sermon. Hmm. This is so good, but so bad for me. Mm. I didn't record because I'm a dummy, but last night I had some really good seafood boil. For years, there has been this person who constantly, like, uses one of those flying thingies where you can view people and stuff like that. What is it called? Those flying robots that view people. A drone. Like, what can you possibly be looking at? In this town. There's nothing special, dude. Like, why do you do that? You're weird. Nah. Like, I don't understand. Like, what's so cool about doing it? I understand the first few months. Oh, wow. But it's been years. <laughs> what is so cool about, like, what are you looking at? What are, where are the views? Maybe it's some kid. Maybe some kid, like... Mm. Sensational. I know what I just did is fat, but this shit is so good. And I only have one. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be good. Ugh.
every time I eat bad, my 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 breathing gets harder. Lychee sparkling water. So much fucking sugar. So much sugar. Last bite. Best food I've ever had in 24 hours. So I'm kind of tired of this pink wig. I'm tired of this pink wig. I'm going to wash my hair. I'm going to take a shower today. Washing my fucking hair. And I'm taking this out. I'm tired of it. She's she's She was fun for Nicki Minaj. But I'm done. <sighs> Look at this. This is cotton candy. This is all the cotton candy. Then you have lavender. Then you have like, I don't even know what this is. Like, notice how there's a pattern. There's pink. Cause I love pink and lilac. And here is an Oreo mochi donut. I've never tasted anything more holier than this in my life. Wow. Wow. Okay, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But, you know, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for a lot of things. Like, It's literally the same color of my lips, too. Oh, my gosh. I remember this white guy that I was talking to. Like, out of nowhere, he's like, your lips are two tones. Out of nowhere. And it was, like, so random. It's like, I like them. But it's like, why would you say that? Are you telling yourself that you like my lips? Like, are you trying to tell yourself? Like, what the fuck? You know what? I guess he did like them because he did, um, he asked me to go to a coffee date. <laughs> but I don't do coffee. So I didn't respond. I didn't respond. I don't do coffee. So this dude that I met today, by the way, also, like, another thing that happened today, I went to the gas station. Oh, I went to the gas station. And I didn't use hand sanitizer. My lips, 
this guy he um he guessed my boot my breast my breast size from Victoria's Secret he was like your 36 C How? How did you freaking know? That's what I'm wearing. Am I 36C? Am I 36C exactly? No, I'm not. But the bra that I'm wearing, it does kind of like squeeze my... It makes my breast smaller. And also, um, it's like... It, you know, the bra that I'm wearing is a 36C bra. I need to get a new bra. I actually wanted to go to Forever 21 and get some bras and stuff like that. Um, but the money, because, like, this is, it hurts me. Wearing these bras kind of hurt me because they're so tight. Because, like, my breasts are, is literally coming out right now. <laughs> but I really love my makeup today, too. He guessed my fucking, see, I'm going to do an eyebrow lift. But he guessed my breast size, and I was like... This is the bra that I'm wearing, but that's not my breast size. But it's the bra that I'm wearing, sir. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. And I'll see you again. When I see you again.